Hi. Well, I just have to share this story with you. I want to show you how to cook some salmon. It's Diane here. And the reason I want to show you how to cook this is because as simple as it is, I was really quite surprised. I was in the store the other day and I saw two people, probably my age, around the meat counter looking around. We had a conversation. And then I went over to the canned good aisles and here they were looking at cans of salmon. And they were examining the can, like what's in it, etc. Well, bottom line is they really had no idea whatsoever how to cook a fresh piece of salmon. So I thought, well, as stupid as this may be, I want to show you a real simple, simple, simple way to cook the stuff that's just, it just doesn't get any easier and well worth the time. So anyway, I have my piece of salmon. I did show them on the label what to look for as far as country of origin, etc. And the easiest way that I'm going to cook it is, and it's quite tasty, is with some extra virgin olive oil, lemon, and this stuff called Bragg's Liquid Aminos. Now I know if you see this in the grocery store, you'd have no idea what it is, unless you're already familiar with it, of course, or what to do with it. It took me years to get past the label to say, well, what is this stuff? Then after I tried it, oh my God, I just love this stuff. So I like to buy it in a large, um, this is a quart container, but always buy one in the little spray bottle because this is the best way to use it. So anyway, Bragg's, Bragg's lemon and olive oil. It's, it's all-purpose seasoning for so much. But anyway, so back to the salmon. What I want to do is, I'm not going to trash my cutting board. I'm going to cut it right on this piece of styrofoam that it came on. And what I'm going to do is cut two pieces. I'm going to cut the tail end, and what I'm doing with the tail end is I'm tucking the tail under so that on the sizzle platter we have an even thickness. In other words, the tail piece where it gets real thin won't be fried to a crisp before the thicker piece or the thicker part gets done. So tuck it under, plus it'll look prettier. And I'm going to cut one more piece. I'm going to show you what else you can do with the rest of this. And then, you won't believe how easy this is. So then, with this salmon, what we're going to do is drizzle it with just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I put some oil on the bottom of the pan so that it wouldn't stick to the bottom of the pan. I'm going to put my lemon in the little citrus press, squeeze it over the fish. It's good with chicken too, by the way. And then spray it with some Bragg's. And sort of a healthy amount, not a lot. I'm not going to salt and pepper this because even though this has the same um, flavor profile as soy sauce, it's not as salty, but it does have a little salt content. It has 16 essential amino acids and I don't know, all sorts of great stuff in this. But anyway, so there you have it. Is that easy? Now I'm going to put this in a 400 oven for, I know the rule of thumb is about 10 minutes to an inch, but it depends on your oven temperature. So 400 for probably 5 to 7 minutes and we'll take a look at it. Well, let's make a different kind of salmon. This one's equally as simple but we're going to do it in a pan. We'll start it in the pan and finish it in the oven. So here's how this is going to go. I have a couple of wonderful little fillets and what I'm going to do is I've got the pan on a medium high heat. I am going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil in the pan. I want to put on my hood and then I want to season the little salmon fillets with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and then into the pan they go whoops this could go a little bit higher and you can tell when the oil's hot enough or the pan's hot enough because the oil will sheet across the pan and so anyway when that is hot and we're going to fold under the thin piece. In it goes. And in goes that. 
Now I'm not going to move that until it's set really well. And in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I have a shallot, onion, and mushroom. And this is going to be a very simple one with a little tomato and a little bit of butter and wine. So with the shallot, we're going to slice that thin. I'm not necessarily going to mince this because I think slicing it thin would be enough. And then the same with the mushroom. And the same with the onion. And this is going to cook relatively quick. So now it's starting to loosen, but not quite yet. Not quite there. And the way we can tell is when you take the spatula and start to turn it, if it sticks at all, then it's not quite ready. It should come off relatively easy which that is now, and so is that. So we'll give it a turn, and we'll give that a turn. I'm going to put, while that, I do, I'm not going to overcrowd this pan, but what I want to do is down the middle, put in the mushrooms, opened up, and the shallot, and the onion. If I were doing any more than this, I would definitely be using a much bigger pan, but this is sufficient for two people or two fillets. And in it goes. This cooks very quick because it's not a very thick piece of salmon. So I'm going to pull this out and I am going to saute the onions, shallots, and the mushrooms. This doesn't look half bad. I could put the heat up a little bit more. Alright, now for the wine. I like to, because I have a gas burner, put the wine in off the burner so that I don't take the chance of torching the hood. And then keeping that on high heat, we're going to reduce this slightly and scrape the bits from the bottom so that this is going to become the base for our sauce. I'm going to put in just a little bit of tomato. And these are some whole tomatoes, but I'll sort of chop them up in the pan, that I packed with a little garlic and basil last summer. They're really good. Or it's always nice to have some canned tomatoes in your cupboard. Get some tomatoes that have a little bit of flavor to them. And so in they go. And because this has basil and garlic in it, I might not do too much to it until it comes out. We'll see how it goes. But I want this nice and hot. And then what I'm going to do is put the um, salmon back in here and I'm going to put it in the oven to finish for a couple of minutes. And it won't take long because these salmon fillets are pretty um, thin. They're not very thick. And so, back in they go with the juices. Whoops. Got a little fire, Scarecrow. Alright. So, these are in. Now, this is going to a 400 oven for probably about five minutes. That might be about it. All right, while that's in the oven, I want to show you this salmon that had the Bragg's lemon and olive oil on it. I'm going to put that pan on the burner because it is the kind of pan I can put on the burner. I'm going to take the salmon filet out of the pan and then we're going to take that Bragg's and the lemon and the olive oil and just reduce it ever so slightly, just a little bit. You can see the brown where the Bragg's is and scrape up the bottom of the pan a little bit. 
that's going to get nice and warm. Then we'll emulsify. But this is really healthy too, for whatever that's worth. We're going to drizzle that right over the salmon. So, gosh, this served with, oh, a baked sweet potato or some rice and a nice salad. How simple does it get? And that's all there is to it. And I'll tell you, it's really good. Lo and behold, this salmon's done too. So what I'm going to do is take this salmon out of the pan. And the reason I can see that it's done is it's oozing just a little bit of white out of the top. So this, well, it's got a minute. It's okay, we can reduce that. I just um, tilted it up ever so slightly with my spatula to see in the middle and it can take another minute. So we'll simmer this and reduce this sauce for just a minute. Okay, basting it with the liquid from the bottom of the pan is always a good thing too. Keeps the top nice and moist and helps it cook from the top. Out of the pan this comes. Let's check this other piece. Yep, it's perfect. I like salmon, well, I shouldn't say a little rare. That's not really the case. Cook through, not overcooked by any stretch, but cook through. Whoops, we'll have to put that back together. Whoops. There it is. So that it's tender and moist, I want to add a little fresh pepper to it. The tomatoes that I canned with the basil, I don't really need any more herbs in it because it tastes really nice and mellow like the basil, so that's enough of that. But what I will do, yep, that's really good. Now there's a couple ways you can finish this. You can either finish this sauce with a little bit of butter, which is what I'm going to do, or you can also finish it with a splash of cream. Either way, or you don't have to finish it with anything. All right, back to my counter. So let's plate this. So this is the one with the Bragg's lemon and olive oil. It's wonderful, healthy, simple, doesn't get any easier. And then we made a little bit of sauce pan sauce for um, this piece of salmon, which is tomato, mushrooms, the shallot, a little bit of white wine, and the tomatoes had some basil in it, and I finished it with a little bit of butter or cream. So, oh my God, how easy is it? This would be really good on over some rice or a very thin pasta of some sort. Anyway, how easy. Neither one takes any time whatsoever. There's a little extra sauce. We're just going to have to try some. Mm. Easy, good. Now, this one, I'm going to give just a little extra squirt of Bragg's because I like it. Let's try it. Mm, perfect. Absolutely perfect. That's some good stuff. Unbelievable healthy. So don't be afraid of this if you see it in the store. Bragg's Liquid Aminos. Easy. Makes an awesome salad dressing. Same thing, lemon, olive oil, and the Bragg's over any kind of vegetable. It's heavenly. Now let's try a little bit of this. This one you can see is really tender and moist in the middle. It flakes just perfectly. Definitely not. It's cooked perfect, I might add. And, wow. Tell you what, that's really good too. So, anyway, oh, marvelous. Okay, stop, guys, stop. You really need to give those a whirl, and you too can cook like you had a restaurant. Very simple and very good. So, thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you on the next episode and enjoy the salmon you're going to go get and cook up.